overcooked on the bottom. That's how we roll. All right. Smashnego. It's another day in Belgrade, and we're about to head out the door and go tackle this day. I think today we're actually going to go cross the bridge and go check out New Belgrade. Let's do it. Barka. Barka? Barka. What is a barka? Barka is like the swimming. Oh, okay. Time. It's called a barka. Very cool. So it's told about the uh, nightclub life that are on the uh, barges. I'm assuming barka is Serbian for barge. And uh, here's another one. I wonder if they open at night. I wonder if they're, uh, if they're even open for business because, you know, coronavirus. We are in. Novi Biograd. We just simply crossed the bridge over there to come see this side of the uh, Sava River. I'm assuming this is still the Sava because I believe the um, confluence between the Sava and the um, Danube River is up here by the fortress, which if we come right over here, right on that side of the tree, you can see right there is the Belgrade Fortress. What's your impression of Novi Beograd so far? Uh, suspiciously similar to Poland, some places in Poland actually. Because of the gentrification? Post-communistic buildings mixed with new stuff, with right. new brand companies. Right. And this, like for instance, this building here that we're about to pass, would you say this is communistic in your opinion? Post-communistic. Post, post -communistic, okay. It looks like, you know, they want you to just think like it's new, but it doesn't look like. I thought there would be more abandoned places than just, you know, living parks. You can see this building is enormous. It just pretty much takes up what you would call a whole block in America. But these blocks... These blocks are huge. They're gigantic and they're just filled with tenement buildings like this. So we are currently in the depths of block 22. Went from block 21 to block 22. And already we're amongst some of the most bizarre buildings I've ever seen. Wow, where does this go? Okay, does this lead to apartments or a bunker? Uh, something underground for sure. I can see windows. I don't know if people live down there or not, but very, very interesting. But the architecture of these buildings is insane. Like, who decided to design them like this? I have no idea. So what's pretty cool about all these blocks is in the middle of them are tons of little parks and even little shops. And it's like each block is its own self-contained community. It's got its own bakery, got its own Maxi bet its own maxi, uh, you name it. So, New Belgrade definitely has a lot of different mixture of new and old buildings. Um, and here you can see we're leaving this area with these very interesting looking buildings like you can see over here in the distance is just crazy looking building and we're going to cross the bridge across the freeway and over here is this brand new building 
what's up with this thing? Like, why? Guys, I'm pretty convinced that we're standing on top of what has to be an old bomb bunker. I mean, I could be wrong about this, but I cannot understand why this giant hill has been made here. It's obviously artificial. This here that we were just standing on is an entrance into this hill. And there are no other ways out of it or into it. So what else could this be besides an old bomb bunker? It's got this sign over here that says VR23. I'm assuming maybe this has been repurposed and they've got maybe a cool little arcade in it now. But, you know, back in the day, what else could it possibly have been used for? And now what we're, I think what we're stumbling upon is a school. Looks like maybe a high school, actually. And you say that they have places like this in Poland, uh, but maybe not quite as big as this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The buildings mostly go up, not like out. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Here we are, still inside one of the blocks, but you can tell we've instantly entered some kind of um, new facility, something absolutely brand new. Everything's brand new. And uh, <laughs> it just, it's bizarre to suddenly be amongst these very old, almost communist style buildings and then to suddenly stumble upon something like this right across the street. We're actually on our way to go see if we can find this flea market that I found on the map. I have no idea if this flea market is open or what they've got there, um, so it'll be an adventure. Might be nothing, might just be a big empty parking lot, we don't know, but um, it's been interesting walking through this area, kind of um, definitely a different experience than being on the other side of the Danube or the Sava, so definitely if you have a chance to come this way, come explore New Belgrade for sure. That's how it looks like when you get off the train in Novi Belgrad. <laughs> Amazing. You know, we were pretty glad to walk across the river and uh, get away from the air pollution. And now, coming right into this area of New Belgrade, all of a sudden just you can smell the horrible pollution. And if you look way off in the distance, you can see why. Uh, is that a power plant? Um, is it a steel refinery? I don't know, but you can see the bellows of pollution coming out of it. I have no doubt that most of the clouds you're seeing in the sky are really just pollution. Across the street from the smokestacks is actually the flea market that we were looking for. You can see it's uh, closed for the day. So uh, unfortunately, we probably won't be able to go in. It looks actually like it's closed for the season, to be honest. Maybe we can take a sneak peek inside, see what it might look like when it's open. But yeah, you can see the Moy kiosk is closed, the gates are closed, and it uh, doesn't look like there's going to be a flea market today. I'm not kidding, man. I can't say it enough times. The air quality, as soon as we got out of like block 23, started walking towards the flea market, just it smells like a steel refinery or something like it's really bad it hurts my nose my throat started to scratch I feel like I'm gonna vomit. she feels like she's gonna vomit oh my god my nose is already starting to run we are trying to get away from the smokestacks as fast as possible that was horrible anyway we're back inside the blocks and I think what we're gonna do to wash the pollution out of our mouth is go get a beer like immediately First sign of beer. 
Let's just get it. 